You know, they've done a real nice job on that cut around the left eye of uh, Tioso, working on the nose of McCallum, and the crowd responding to Fabrice Tioso. As he comes out, they touch gloves for the 12th and final round for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. McCallum in trouble. I would be somewhat surprised, Steve, if Tioso, with his youth and his strength and what seems to be a better gas tank now, doesn't come out to try and muscle him more and keep the heck out of Mike McCallum. Because He's got to want that title. Well, Guaranteed there's nothing safe. Could that be a mistake, though? Looking at the other side of the coin. Well, he's been hit by everything Mike's had for the first 11 rounds, and he's walked into some big shots, got him clean, and it was no big deal. So, at so, this point, I'd say go for it. He's confident that he's got the chin to withstand any pressure from Mike McCallum. And uh, you are right, because Tiozo was pressing the attack he steps back for a second now he comes forward again crowd getting on McCallum for the push right uppercut that just missed by McCallum and those those punches are facing the challenger he's been leaping into the right hands that have been landing against McCallum and I just McCallum normally never gets hit with those things maybe a bit of the reflex of the gun too again Tioso almost dangerously playing to the crowd as he's in a clinch with McCallum now the exchange and Tioso See, continues to dish it out McCallum's exhausted here I don't think the punches were that strong as the momentum the, the strength that's left in Tioso is so much greater watch the headbutting says Tioso to Joe Cortez past the midway point of the 12th round we might be witnessing a changeover in the world championship. Another big right hand by Fioso, and he's holding on, doing something smart. Get your count, get your shots in, and hold on. Fabrice Fioso looking to become the 14th world champion from the country of France. And he may very well be on the threshold of the title. And he continues to play to the crowd. Well, I'll tell you what, he's having a good time now. It would be a shame to see him hold that hand up here and get caught with something. Wisely keeping his distance when he does do that. Showing some good boxing skills, a decent pair of legs and a nice jab, some good movement. Showing some style. Well, he is certainly uh, relishing, enjoying this moment with 30 seconds left in the fight. McCallum, to his credit, is giving it his all. He really is trying... He's coming forward, but there's nothing really left there. See, did you see McCown's legs just buckle a little, just a little bit? It's just fatigue. I think it's age. I don't think it's the beating or the power of Kiozo, although Kiozo is fighting a great oh, fight. Once great again, run. he's leaping in with that right team, and he can't be stopped. As we head for the bell, and that is the fight as Kiozo goes down to his knees. Oh, you say the the drama there is the wife of Fabrice Tiozo and this pro Tiozo crowd in Lyon France celebrating the moment feeling that Fabrice Tiozo will soon be named world champion very emotional moment here in Lyon France Well, I certainly believe he did what he had to steal. I think he took the fight. I had a 117, 113 for Kyozo. I thought he won the fight, even without the knockdown. He just had much more today, and that's not taking any away from his performance from Mike McCallum. He did seem to have the old Mike McCallum stuff. I agree with you, and uh, but we always have to uh, throw in that asterisk. Remember Foreman Schultz. Anything can happen. But we're not in Las Vegas, we're in the fight being uh, in France. Yeah, you know, I, I, I wonder about some of the decisions in boxing over the years, and, and I know the politics of it, and I know how the game is played. <laughs> well, I know we're in France, but the long arm of politics reaches everywhere. So we'll see how the judges figure it out. Tomatsu Tamihara of Hawaii, John Kane of England, and Victor Cervantes of Mexico. But they are certainly confident over there in the Tiozo corner of victory. And I 
got to believe without question that Piozo is the new champion. You're up to the halfway point. It was still very, very tight. But as you got up toward round nine and ten, you know, the lead started to get bigger. McCallum started to do less, get hit with more. Piozo was just too strong. Don King uh, embracing uh, the challenger. Piozo hearing it from the crowd. Raising his hands in triumph. But it is not official as of yet. Again, the emotion all over the face, shaking Fabriciozo's wife. Very pretty. And just like her uh, husband has a little tattoo going there. Uh, probably not a bear, though. No. Maybe a cub. Anyway, there is Mike McCallum, who was uh, struggling with wind for a good portion of this fight, and you gotta believe that Father Time has finally caught up to this match. We're gonna find out in just a moment. So, uh, the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. The hometown favorite with the bear on his chest, Fabrizio, Mike McCallum, Joe Cortez, the referee, ready to raise Mesdames one messieurs. hand. Le pointage et la décision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we have a unanimous decision. For Monsieur Tomiara, McCallum, 112, Kyozo, 115. Judge Tomiara scores about 115, 112. For Monsieur Ken, McCallum, 112, Kyozo, 116. Valentin scores at 116, 112. For Monsieur Cervantes, McCallum, 113, Kyozo, 116. Judge Cervantes scores about 116, 113. Fabrice Kyozo, nouveau champion du monde, Milour. The winner. The Bear Yonko. Well, you, you really didn't need Jimmy Lennon Jr. to tell you. You can tell by the reaction of the crowd. New WBC light heavyweight champion. Unanimous decision, Fabrice Piozo. We welcome you back to our Showtime studio in New York. Steve Albert along with Bobby Chez. And Bobby, let's get your feelings on tonight's main event. Well, the fight was certainly much more exciting than the other one, Steve. I'll tell you what, though. I think that maybe Mike McCallum just pushed it a little too far, a little too long. I think the age really affected him tonight. And Chiozo fought an excellent fight. Kept aggressive, stayed strong, stayed in shape, and on top of things, the winner. In your opinion, what's next for Mike McCallum? Only Mike really knows. Mike's 38 years old, at least, and some say he's over 40. He knows, he's gonna go home, he's gonna look at the tapes, he's gonna get a feel for what he really wants to do and does he really still have it or was it just too much to ask of him? Only he really knows that, Steve. Well, a longtime champion, Mike McCallum, lost his WBC light heavyweight title tonight and here are his post-fight comments. He fought a great fight and the crowd was behind him, so, you know, it was a plus for him too. You know, I'd like to get a rematch if I could, but, you know, he fought great, nothing to take away from tonight. Well, the big question they all want to know now at age 38, have you thought at all about retirement? I know that's a question you don't like. Well, I'm going back home. I'm going to look back at the tape and see what happened. Well, he'll have a fight, and a lot of people say it's a close fight. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of, but uh, like I say, 38, I'll see what happened when I look at the tape and see what happens. And I reassess myself. I feel good tonight. You know, I didn't win the victory, but hey, I still feel all right. So, uh, in other words, what you're telling me is that you feel like that 38-year-old body has got a few more fights left. And it's, I know you still want to shot at Virgil Hill. You wouldn't mind lifting that title from him, would you? Oh, no. I'd, I'd love to do that. <laughs> but uh, now that Teal's the one, he's going to run all over the place again. He ain't going to fight me, but it's all right. Would you like to fight uh, uh, Fabricio? Again, yes. Yeah. It was a close fight, a uh, tough fight. I feel it should be giving the shot again to fight again. That'd be a good fight. I love that, definitely. Well, I hope that you get all the shots you want. I know you've been in the Don King stable quite a while and fighting for Don, and if it can be put together, he's certainly will. I want to thank you for doing uh, the interview in a most